Okay, now I don't have a tremendous production budget for my videos. I'm an amateur YouTuber, this is not my day job, and I'm just using consumer grade equipment. So a typical setup for one of my videos looks a bit like this. It's just me using a, a compact digital camera on my standard tripod. However, this has got some shortcomings really, because one of the things that's really, really annoying about this kind of setup is you can't get it very close to the action, and you can't do top-down shots like that. And so I often find I'm, I'm working very awkwardly in order to be seen by the camera. So let's do something about that today. One of the things you can do, of course, is you can buy tripods and camera clamps and, and so on that will clamp onto the edge of the table or will have extended reach across so that we can do rostrum type shots. I've looked at the prices of those and my budget doesn't stretch to that. So we're going to make something today. And I just figured out, really, the tripod already has all of the articulation and positioning that I really need. So actually all I need is a few extra bits. So we're going to be trying to make an extension arm that fits on the top of the tripod and accommodates the camera on the end. Should be simple. So the big complexity actually with any of this is the thread that you've got on the bottom of a typical camera. We're all metric threads here in the UK and so finding a bolt to fit in that is not something you can do at a hardware store. However, eBay and various online stores are very useful for this. The thread type you're looking for if you're doing anything like this is one quarter inch UNC. There's a little one quarter inch UNC screw that I bought from Banggood. I'll put links to all of the stuff I've bought for this project in the video description. But there we go, so we've got a, a thread there that fits the camera. So what I've bought for my project here is some of these. I had to buy a bag of 20 of them. I couldn't find them individually, but it wasn't expensive. This is a threaded insert, which we can screw into a piece of wood and will give us a one quarter inch UNC female thread on the bottom. This is supposed to be a camera hot shoe mount. So you're meant to actually fit that on the top of a, an SLR camera or anything else that has a flash hot shoe mount screw it down and it gives you another little tripod thing. I don't know, maybe you put a GoPro or something on the top of there. But anyway, this is useful to me because it's an articulated joint that we can, we've got rotation, we've got repositionable sort of ball and socket joint there and it locks down nice and tight and easily with that little screw. Furthermore, it has a one quarter inch UNC thread in the bottom. It'd be more useful to me if that was a M6 thread or something like that, but never mind. So that fits in the bottom of there. So really, the job is simple here. We're going to take a piece of wood, nice, strong, straight wood. This is Kerouing. Uh, we're going to trim that down to a slightly slimmer and nicer looking piece. We're going to fit one of these threads in this end, and we're going to fit this piece to the other end. And then that will clamp onto the tripod, and it will give me the reach I need to get over the top of the subject or down to table level. So let's get started. Small change of plan, this Kerouing timber, it's lovely stuff, it's very, very hard, it's very strong, but it's also quite heavy. And because this whole thing is gonna to have to cantilever on the tripod, I think we're gonna to have to have something else. So, I just remembered, I've got this piece of reclaimed timber that we took out of a sofa teardown. I think it's ash, it's still nice and hard, it's very strong, but it's probably about half the weight of the other timber. So we're going to clean this up and use this.
Okay, right, so this is my finished camera boom arm. I made a nice taper right down to the end here just to keep the weight nice and minimal. It's a little bit bendy, but the point is it's out the way, we won't be knocking it so the camera will stay nice and stable. So if we just come in and have a look and see how it fixes on. So it just screws onto the tripod plate right here. And then we've got the articulation of the tripod itself to provide any movement and positioning that we really want. So we can get it right in over whatever we're working on. And then at this end, we've got that ball and socket joint to give us a bit more flexibility if we want for fine positioning. That's closer than I would probably normally film, but the point is I can have my hands underneath the camera here and you'll get a top-down view of what I'm doing and I won't, won't have my arms in the way or won't be knocking the thing and making the video rubbish. It'll be rubbish for other reasons. One thing I forgot to mention was the hole I put in this end. If for some reason I want to put a heavier camera on this end, I can hang a bungee strap with some counterbalance weights on that end so it doesn't tip the tripod over. So there we go, that is how to make a camera boom arm for less than a fiver. Thanks for watching, I hope to see you again soon.